Probably you've heard a lot about meme stocks and are eager to learn more about them, keeping to read and watch every material in the internet. Hey guys, my name is Ken, today we are reviewing meme stocks. You'll learn why are they called meme stocks, how they came out to be so popular and we'll go through the list of 9 stocks considered as meme. Before we go, just trade the like button and invest in subscription to the channel for more useful content. You can also buy me a coffee, the link is down below in the description. So first things first, what is a meme stock? In short, a stock popular with millennial age retail traders that trades more on hype than its underlying fundamentals. This hype could be generated on Reddit's Wall Street Bets forum, it could also come from social media platforms like Twitter or stock tweets. Meme stocks, sometimes playfully referred to as stonks, can be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Early movers buy in and start touting them online, others buying out of FOMO, fear of missing out, dive in in order to avoid missing a can't-miss opportunity. We saw this in action with GameStop stock. Those who got in first saw rapid gains, and as its epic rise made headlines across the globe, those late to the party hopped along for the ride, but hopping on the bandwagon can be a risky move for retail investors. Now let's review the list of meme stocks, it may be fun to dabble in meme stocks, but don't consider it as a path to profits because it is way too risky. And always remember, this is not a financial advice neither. The first one on the list is Churchill Capital IV. There are plenty of SPAC, special purpose acquisition company, stocks that could be considered meme stocks. But CCIV stock is one that's recently surged in popularity among retail investors. Why? Because of the blank check company's possible acquisition of electric vehicle startup Lucid Motors. The luxury electric vehicle maker is seen by some as a name that could eventually give industry leader Tesla a run for its money. However, while that talk has sent this pack up more than threefold from its offering price, this headline-making rumored deal is anything but set in stone. With the company receiving heavy investment from Saudi Sovereign Wealth Fund, public investment fund, it may delay going public. If the deal doesn't happen in the next quarter or two, expect investors to get skittish. Shares in Churchill Capital could crater if what's now expected doesn't fully pan out. Keep it on your radar, but hold off rushing into it unless it falls back to more reasonable prices. Next one on the list, Express. GameStop's short squeeze rally may have been epic, but the performance of Express stock was fairly impressive as well. At the start of 2021, investors had little confidence in this retailer hit hard by the pandemic. But thanks to its moderate short interest and its status as a meme stock among Reddit traders, shares went on an epic roller coaster ride starting on January 22. Shares zoomed from around $1 per share to nearly $14 per share before pulling back to today's prices. Given the fundamentals fail to match up with today's valuation, Express stock is probably a prime example of a meme stock to avoid. The third on the list is Cost Corporation. A small maker of headphones and related equipment company had little to show besides consistently backluster financial results. But thanks to its low share price, it became one of the many names Reddit traders took to the moon. Trading for around $3 per share in mid-January, shares topped $64 per share by month's end. With the company in a slow and steady decline, there's no justification for the stock's current price-to-earnings ratio. Based on recent insider selling, the cost family agrees, cashing out to the tune of $44 million, they've taken the money and ran. If you own it now, you should follow suit, prices are only going to head lower from here. And if you don't own it yet, avoid it at all costs. In the long term, the company is likely worth only a fraction of what it trades for today. Next on the list is Jaguar Health. For the most part, Reddit traders are beating up meme stocks, focusing little on fundamentals, prospects or valuation. But in the case of Jaguar Health stock, they may be barking up the right tree. The biotech company owns the patent on Crofelmer, marketed as Mitesi. This drug primarily treats chronic diarrhea in HIV AIDS patients on antiretroviral therapy. This treatment could also find a market among those suffering from long-haul COVID-19 with medical 
medical experts saying long-haul COVID could be a health crisis post-pandemic, Jaguar may have a massive opportunity here. Speculators online took this possibility and ran with it. Shares have zoomed from $0.40 cents per share to $3 per share since December. With the company still in its early stages, you can't use its current fundamentals to justify its share price, but it may only take moderately positive developments regarding its pandemic-related catalyst to send shares even higher from here. While other stocks may continue to pull back, many may jump back into this stock as COVID-19 pandemic continues. The next one is Naked Brand. It's not been just meme stock madness that's moved needle for next stock. Big changes at the company also excited investors about this struggling apparel retailer's future. Naked Brand is getting out of the brick and mortar business and becoming a purely an e-commerce company. Naked stock has pulled back some from the trading frenzy it saw a few weeks back, but still overvalued relative to its prospects. This remains more of a stock to gamble on than to invest in and for the long-term success, going with the larger strategy is the best move. Another meme stock is Nokia. Also ran telecom equipment giant Nokia has been stuck in neutral for quite some time. The US government gave it an indirect boost in their attempts to control the rise of China's Huawei, but rivals like Ericsson have scooped up much of the benefit as they've left Nokia far behind when it comes to lucrative 5G contracts. But due to its name recognition combined with its high short interest, Nokia stock saw a big spike during the events of last month. Shares went from around $4 per share to prices topping $6.5 per share. Since then, shares are now back to prior price levels. Following this pullback, does this stock have a shot of rebounding again? It's debatable. The company reported an earnings beat when it released results on February 4, but CEO Pekka Lundmark remarked that the coming year would be another challenging one for the Nokia. Subsequent quarters could surprise, sending Nokia stock back toward its recent highs However, this remains a wait and see opportunity. Consider it a buy if shares continue to sell off from here. Next one is Palantir. Electric vehicle and other green wave plays have been the meme stocks that all have gained the most from political changes, but big data play Palantir stock has benefited from politics as well. Why? With its many ties with the Biden administration, many see the next four years as golden ones for the company. This view isn't entirely off the mark. Palantir wants to diversify further into the commercial sector. But for now, its federal government book of business remains its bread and butter. On the other hand, the Biden boat's wealth for Palantir thesis may be more than priced into shares. Trading for 44x estimated 2021 sales and 311x estimated 2021 earnings, even given its projected rate of growth, this seems excessive. Trading divorced of its fundamentals, shares could tumble. How could this happen? If the company falls short of growth projections, its meme stock status could take a hit. Those who jumped in at prices above $30 per share could panic sell, sending this back to near where it traded at the time of its direct offering around $10 per share. There may be more runway for Palantir stock from here, but keep in mind these concerns before buying. Next one is Sundial Growers. Stronger pot stocks like Canopy Growth may be better ways to play the legalization trend, but as the most well-known marijuana penny stock that trades on a major exchange, meme stock traders can't get enough of Sundial stock. Granted, while it's overpriced at $1.30 per share, there may be some substance to its turnaround story. Replacing its debt with equity, this second-tier Canadian cannabis company has more breathing room as it shifts from the low-margin wholesale to the high margin retail pot business. Also, shares could go parabolic once again if the US Congress fast tracks full on legalization of marijuana on the federal level, adding its potential as either an acquirer or acquiree, and we can consider it's not just irrational euphoria that sent this penny stock from under $1 per share to today's prices 
Yet, things could easily turn on a dime for Sundial Grover. If the next quarterly results show its turnaround is anything but in motion, those who bought it on the headlines or forum posts may quickly head for the exit. A potential reverse stock split could minimize its volatility, making it less of a high-risk, high-return trading opportunity. The last one on the list is Zometica. With its veterinary diagnostic product Trueforma, early-stage biotech company Zomerica could finally have its day in the sun. The issue is that investors have already priced in the upside from this and other products in the pipeline. Up more than 30-fold from where it traded last fall, ZOM stock is way overvalued at today's prices. Since it's still at the pre-revenue stage, it's tough to use traditional valuation metrics on it. ZOM stock could remain a highly profitable trading opportunity in the near term. Yet, with little but hype supporting it, shares could fall massively if the current narrative on the company changes course. As the easy money is clearly being made here, the best move now is to steer clear. Let me know in the comments on your thoughts of meme stocks above, I read all the comments and really like replying them. Hear more other videos about personal finance and investments, make sure to subscribe to the channel, destroy the like button and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video.